hello guys welcome to my channel it simplified in today's video i'll show you how to create availability set in azure and add at least two virtual machine within that availability set so let's get started uh, you can just go to more services and uh, do a quick search for availability set click on availability set Click on the add button. Let's give a quick name, Luis Availability Set. And under the resource group, I will use the existing. I have a resource group with the name Demo Availability Set, and location will be Canada Central. Uh, now by default within the availability set there is a concept of fault domain and update domain which is 2 and 5 if I move my mouse uh, on this exclamation mark it tells me that virtual machine in the same fault domain share a common power source and physical network switch so by default it is 2 which is okay with me and under the update domain it is uh, that uh, it specified that VM in the same update domain will be restarted together during plan maintenance as you never restart more than one update domain at a time by default it is five which is okay with me because the whole idea of availability set is to have a, a continuity business continuity so you want to make sure that in case one machine goes down the other machine is up and running and you click on the create button Okay, so the availability set was created successfully. Let me just refresh this and uh, reach availability set is good to go. Okay, so what we're gonna do is in the next step, we will create uh, or add two virtual machine within this availability set. So click on VM. Click on the add button. I'll pick Windows Server. And in this case, I'll grab Windows Server 2012 R2 and click on the Create button. let's just go through the basic configuration so in my case the name of the VM gonna be VM 1 and the VM disk type will be SST I'll give the username as Grish and give the password I have the resource group demo availability set location is good for me and uh, click on OK under size I'll pick DS1 v2 with a one virtual CPU and 3.5 gig of RAM Click on select. And uh, this is important step because it is asked me for the high availability under availability set. So let me just expand this. And I have a grayish availability set which I'm gonna grab because I want to put these virtual machine in this uh, set. I will use the manage this so that I don't have to worry about the storage account and under the uh, virtual network I will use demo a availability set virtual network and uh, 
I will leave everything to the default. I don't want any monitoring and uh, click OK. Accept the Microsoft permission to share the information in case you want to and you get a brief summary of the selections that you have made and click on the create. Okay, so the deployment has been initiated. So if I expand the notification, it is in progress. Now this will take some time, but let's do this way. In the meantime, what we'll do is we will uh, create another virtual machine and add that to the availability set. So same way you go to the VM, Click on add. For my second VM, the availability set will give the name VM2. VM desk type is SST, will give the name Girish and give the password. Use the same resource group. I will use the same sites. And again, make sure that uh, you put this VM also in the same availability set, which is uh, Grish. AS Girish availability set. I'll use the manage disk again and uh, virtual network will be demo availability set VNet. Trust everything is good with me. Select OK. It gives the final validation of the selections that we have made. And click on the create button. And if I expand the notification tab, uh, the second uh, deployment is in progress. So with this, uh, we have uh, deployed two virtual machine in our availability set and it completes the part one of the video. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.